cubits. So I want to consider whether it's worth buying a Haynes workshop manual, or if you're American, probably a Kleiner workshop manual. And my answer is absolutely yes. You should buy a workshop manual. If you like to do anything on your bike, whether it's adding oil or taking your wheel off and retorquing the wheel to the correct torque setting, this book's going to tell you how to do it. Now, I don't really remember the cost of this book. It was probably somewhere around about $40. It might be a little bit more. I'm not sure what the current prices are. But you can buy them at Haynes online. But the uh, best thing I, I find with these, these books is, apart from giving you all the volumes of fluids to put into your bike, and obviously telling you how to remove certain components and showing you pictures step by step. The thing that I actually like the most about these, these chapters is that they actually give you the torque settings on the bolts. So, unless you're an experienced mechanic, you don't know how tight you should tighten a lot of nuts and bolts on your bike. So it's obviously divided into sections, for example engine or gearbox or uh, suspension or wheels. So you can actually just look up in the, in the appropriate section. So for example here, uh, if, you're if you're draining the gearbox oil, gearbox oil drain plug 30 newton meters, gearbox oil filler cap 30 newton meters. So you don't have to damage any parts of your bike because you're over tightening or putting yourself to risk by under tightening the bolts. Get yourself a workshop manual. They're great, and uh, also they give you space to actually write notes. So, for example, I record in my workshop manual the distance and what I've done on the particular on the bike. Just while we're there, uh, you could probably look at these sort of things online. But just to illustrate my, what, I, what I was saying to you. Obviously the, the manual will give you all the specifications of the bike itself, width, height, weight of the various models that are covered. And then when you actually get to a chapter that's relevant to what you're doing, like routine maintenance and servicing, it will give you the different types of oil, oops, give you the different types of oil that are required and all the torque settings, which is the most useful thing I find, as well as service intervals. And then um, it goes through step by step on uh, what you actually would need to do to change, for example, the engine oil in the filter. Step by step process with pictures. Yeah, so it's very useful, especially if you're doing something for the first time and you want to know what you should do to take off the part you want to get to and replace it. So a very useful book. Um, as someone painstakingly strips a bike apart and photographs each stage of the process. So I've, I've used them for various bikes I've had in the past and uh, found them to be fantastic and really worth having, worth spending that little bit of money on it. It's probably like $50 or thereabouts. Yeah, get yourself a workshop manual. Haynes or Climber or even the BMW workshop manual from the factory. But these are better for the layman because they tell you step by step. They don't assume you know too much. Well, have a good day. Cheerio.